Hey guys, it's Nick Mira and, and Taj Taylor from Internet Money Records and today we're going to be seeing which new rap hits get our co-sign. You kind of never really know when a song is going to be a hit. I think we're just too close to the situations when it happens. Like when we make the songs, we'll be in the studio. We don't look at things when we're making them like, oh, this is a hit. When we did uh, Ransom, like it wasn't everybody's favorite song. Did like, it again and Shots was like the ones where we were like, is it hit? And Ransom was just like, oh, yeah, it's cool. And then whenever it started growing, we we're like, really? Yeah. Ransom? The people just choose. Yeah. 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 Like the I didn't know he had a tattoo on the back of his head. It's not a tattoo, it's his hair. Is it? Yeah. Wow, I'm stupid. I haven't heard the song. But I like Choppa. You don't really hear him on like much melodic shit. He does melodic stuff good though. He's more known for his like uh, just like aggressively rapping shit. This is like more melodic from him, so it's different. I fuck with the fact that like this is his real life girlfriend. Like she's in the video and shit. There ain't like no no actresses or nothing like that. No fake ass like video models. It's like real. There's obviously he's in a, the same lane as like other rappers. Like he's like young boy and all that other shit. But it's like I don't know. I feel like they're just all different artists doing like their own unique little thing. That's what makes it him. Yeah, he's unique. Yeah, I fuck with him only Chopper. Stupid boy think that I need him. I go call like changing seasons. Oh, I know this song. Yeah. This chick's fire. She's like popping on TikTok right now. Boy think that I need him. Stupid boy think that I need him. Season. You don't like this? Bro, I fuck with this shit. This shit is hard to me. I was playing this the other day. Y'all laughing at me for playing this. This is what Taz was doing in his room. This is what I listen to in my room when I put the hair up. You know, I'm playing Call of Duty, sitting there crying, man. This is the shit I listen to. How come I'm older than you and I know about TikTok? I guess that's just me being old and like trying to connect with like the kids and you being a kid. And you're like, ah, oh, that's corny. You're a hater, bro. This shit's hard. This shit's hard. And I'm not saying that to say that. I actually fuck with that song. It gets stuck in your head. It's catchy. Maybe I'm not hip enough. Ask, ask your girl about it. I bet your money she knows that song. Big drip, big drip. I'm gonna love with a lip bitch. Hey, trip shit. Hey, she wanna suck on the lit dick. Hey, hey, hey. Big drip. Okay, it looks like this was shot at 60 frames per second. Yo, it does though. This looks like birds, like fucking Fourth of July parties. He be throwing in New York. I don't know about the the bandana. <laughs> Bulletproof vest. It feels like every year there's like one motherfucker coming out of New York randomly. It just pops out of nowhere. Like I feel like this year was like Pop Smoke. He ain't, he ain't got the voice though. He ain't got Pop Smoke's voice. Pop Smoke sound like he be fucking putting cigarettes out on his tongue. I mean, I like the the beat and the song. Uh, the music video uh, it was kind of. Um, it does sound like some some like UK shit though. Yeah, it sounds like. The some UK. Was a I think you could just tell as soon as you play it. It's just New York, and I just think that like you get that whole feeling like if you've been in New York. It just feels like New York. Yeah, no self control on my own. The lonely niggas to load when the money's so missing. Hey. And my wallet and my ribcage. I love love enough for comfort knowing money to go with it. It reminds me of some Earl Sweatshirt yeah. shit. Like some early Odd Future shit. When you listen to Earl Sweatshirt and like Odd Future, you just listen like they're talking like straight to you. It's not like they're singing a song or anything. They're just like, it's like right to you. Like I hear like the influence of Doom in there because it's just like gritty. You know what I mean? It's just like dirty. There's no like actual structure. There's no nothing. It's just him like rapping over like a boom bap beat. It's just what it is. No, I think what he's doing is different than what a lot of people do nowadays with boom bap where they try to force it too hard and make it way too conscious or like try to put on this voice that's not really them and you can tell like they're trying too hard but he seems like he did it like very naturally and like it just flowed very easily so it comes off as like genuine, it's not corny at all. Yeah, it just comes off as he's being himself. Oh, B Slime. Shout out to B Slime. B Slime. <laughs> B Slime's fire. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with B Slime. He's just a cool kid. Like, a lot of kid, like, rappers and kid artists that come out, like, they're just like, you don't want to listen to them because they're like a little kid and they're just rapping about school and stuff like but he's like saying anything else like adults would say so it sounds fire and like there's rappers that have high-pitched voices that even sound like this so it's like you don't even pay attention that it's a kid so it just sounds cool do you feel corny listening to like a little kid rap if it's if it's like some corny stuff i don't think there's any other kid rapper aside from him and matt ox that like sound genuine Cause you can ride around listen to some Matt Ox and it slaps. The thing that's interesting with him is like, you say he's 12, right? So I'm interested to see like, 
if he's actually going to do this or if he's like going to lose interest by the time he's like fucking 15, 16. You know, it's like some kids do that shit. A lot of people will probably just give him shit and be like, oh, well, he only has the looks he has or he only has this because he's Melly's brother. And like, and you listen to music and it's like, all right, there's something there. <laughs> Being on the label side of like the artist shit, I know what every artist wants to do with their music videos and kind of bring the the watcher, the viewer, the listener into like their own little world. The video for Anneli Chopper's Forever Song was cool. It's like shot his own house. There weren't too many scenes. It was like they made a lot with what they had, and I like the song. Ash Nico. With that song, uh. And young Baby Tate. I guess I could see why people are like hype about it on TikTok. I thought it was fire. I fuck with her heavy. With Five Yo Foreign, sounds like Five Yo kind of. I like it. Um. The beat was cool. It sounded like a different take on some like grime scene, but also like mixed with like drill in America. So it was a good mix. The Mavi's Love Money song was probably one of my favorites of the ones we reacted to. After watching all these new rap hits, the artist that gets my co-sign is YNW Beast Line. And the person that gets my co-sign is Mavi because Aaron Wayne fucks with the boom bap, low key. With urban music becoming basically the most popular genre out there, you really can't put it in a box anymore and say like, this is that or this is this, it's just what it is. But it's fire, you can't really box it in. I think that really talks about how big the genre and like rap and hip hop in itself has like gotten in the past 15 years. Nowadays, when people try to do boom bap, it's like too forced on like, you gotta motivate and be on the street and get your get your head up. Penicillin. And like, penicillin. Cinnacinin. Hot venom is sitting and spitting them in the minute off. Yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta do the, the Eminem impression. Oh, we good off that. <laughs> yeah. Boxes and foxes.